all inclusive. The United States contains approximately 300 new smokers daily, according to John P. Pierce, who has a PhD in oncology from the Journal of the American Medical Association that was last updated in 2018. Everyone in this room knows someone who either smokes cigarettes or vapes. The tobacco industry, no, first I will be talking to you about how advertising plays a big role in why people smoke. Second, I will be talking to you about why people smoke. And finally, I will be talking to you about the health issues. To start, I will be talking to you about how advertisement plays a big role in why people smoke. The tobacco industry spends more, over $10 million on advertisement daily. Tobacco advertisements try to target people who are going through stressful situations because smoking or vaping will relieve their stress. Tobacco advertisements also try to use familiar like ways to advertise so people when they see it like for example on TVs or if they see it in movies or online it will influence them to buy their product. Tobacco uh, companies use promotions and incentives to get people to buy their product like for example, if you buy a specific kind of vape, you, may, you might get free vape juice or like a discount on vape juice. And they also try to target people who are younger, so they make flavors of vape juice that kids would enjoy. Like for example, cotton candy, mint, blue raspberry, and they even have fruit beer. Advertisement influences people to smoke, but there are many other reasons why. Another, or smoking is a very expensive and addicting hobby, and people, the majority of people who smoke say that they smoke because they're stressed out, and so they want to relieve their stress. People who smoke think like they know they're addicted, but they believe that they can stop whenever they would like. But Anna Costagina, an assistant director for the Tobacco Control Research Center in the Journal of Tobacco Control and Education, last updated in December of 2015, says that 70% of all smokers want to quit, but very few of that 70% actually end up quitting. The new trend for smokers is vaping. Vaping is very, like, so current that they really have no, like, they don't know all of the health issues that come along with vaping. And vaping, majority of people say that vaping is healthier than smoking, but it's so current that they really can't, they don't have any, like, data to show that it is healthier. That brings me into my third topic, which is the health issues with smoking. The two main health issues with smoking is cancer and lung disease. Cancer and lung disease are just two, but there are many other health issues with smoking. Richard J. Bonney, a professor for neurobehavioral science at the University of Virginia, from an article, Growing Up Tobacco Free, republished in 2016, <coughs> says that one in every five smokers will end up getting heart disease. And another way you can get health issues from smoking is secondhand smoke, which is basically just breathing in someone else's smoke, and you can get the exact same health issues from actually smoking. Another concern for smokers is the nicotine. Nicotine is very addictive and it makes people crave cigarettes and vaping. And so, and that's exactly what the companies want. So that way you buy more things. First, I talked about how advertisement plays a big role in why people smoke. Second, I talked about why people smoke. And last, I talked about the health issues with smoking. The tobacco industry is to blame for leading people to smoke. Our generation can be the trendsetters to decrease the amount of new smokers. Too.